Well, here we are at Wanabago Towables and their expanding uh, collection of RVs. And uh, this year, they're right by the entrance, so you can tell that it's, it's becoming a, a very important part of, uh, of Wanabago. Here's the hike, that's the one that I showed you uh, a couple of months ago at the, at the Minis on the Mountain Rally. And they have other hike models, which I'm going to check out real quick. But first, someone requested that I, uh, that I do a walkthrough at one of the new... Um, someone requested that I see the Voyage 3134, so we're going to go see that one. Of course, one more time, we're going to check out the, the newer sibling to my Micro Mini. And, uh, and then we'll check out the hikes. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, I see the voyage right there, but what do I see here? <laughs> Wanabago Micro Mini 1708 FB, which is the basically the new and improved uh, Mini Tini. It has a slightly larger uh, uh, basement storage here, it seems. It's much, much more raised off the ground. It has the all-terrain tires like most of the, or all of the uh, Micro Minis have. In the back, very similar. It comes pre-wired for a backup camera, as you can see. Let's take a look inside real quick. This is the 1708 FB. I have no idea how much it costs because, as, as you know, industry day... Oh, it's dark in here. Let me leave the door open. It's industry day, so they don't have a whole lot of information yet. Here they have some information about the roof construction and the, and the chassis construction. The bed is very similar very similar it's, it's that same narrow body uh, seven feet uh, wide uh, rv body this down here is a change and that's something something that someone pointed out at the last rv show it's no longer drawers it's just a large storage space i don't know if that could be converted back to drawers i think the drawers are more um, convenient to have but in any case here we have some storage on top. This used to be uh, glass. Now it's just a regular door. It's the, it's the, it's the updated uh, Dometic 3 range stove and, uh, and we have a propane oven on this one. Regular microwave. Standard Dometic two-way or three-way refrigerator. I don't know ex exactly which it is because... How can you tell on this one? Oh, here we go. You have to open the freezer to change it and it's gas or auto it does not work on dc so this is this would be a, actually a downgrade from the one that i have although to be honest i never use dc up here the same this is exactly the same the sink is a slightly well this the the, the, the one in my micro mini is the one that you can pull out and um, this actually might be a downgrade from my micro mini the bathroom is exactly the same, same toilet, same. The sink is now uh, metallic and this seems to be a slightly more durable material. As you know, the one that I have, it kind of disintegrated in the heat. And of course, I would change that for a Fantastic. And uh, I would change that for a Fantastic too. And I could have sworn that the one that I saw at the Hershey show, they had put the AC here and the vent there, but could be the Mandela effect. Anyway, we have a Connex uh, radio here, a stereo, and a pretty large TV. And this one, wardrobe closet. And here's, this is a little lower than the, my Micro Mini, in the sense that they have put it a little lower. All right. So this is uh, the 2020 1708 FB. Let me see if I can walk to the other side just to show you real quick. As you can see, it's much, much higher than my, than my 1706. Oh, here we are. 
This is the other side, very similar. Similar stuff, outside shower right there. I like that, the, the, the sewer, it's a, a lot uh, higher off the ground. And other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same. Oh, it has the, probably a, a, a tank-based water heater. And as you know, I, I uh, replaced mine with a Truma Aquago. All right, let's see the Voyage, which is the one that you guys uh, came to see. And let me see which model of the Voyage is the one that you guys requested because there's a, there's even a Voyage fifth wheel now. Okay, the 3134. Oh, the 3134, you guys wanna see the fifth wheel, huh? All right, let's check it out. We have some huge storage here at the front basement. And this is where your propane resides and those are probably, uh, those, are, those are larger than mine. Those are probably 30 pound tanks right there. Very nice. Down here we have a cable connection, probably for an outside TV and uh, we, have, we have lights, of course, so you can see. And, uh, and uh, power outlet. Let's check it out inside real quick. And as you know, fifth wheels are really not my thing, so I'm not an expert at like telling you what's good or what's bad. Maybe I, I'll get Adam to show it to us uh, at a later video. But here, here we have uh, a multiplex uh, wiring system where you can turn on all the lights or turn off all the lights for that matter. Pretty cool. I like to do that, especially in the big rigs, so I, I drive people nuts. Here we have our bedroom, walk around bed. We have under, under, under the floor uh, heating, of course. Nice closet here. How do you open this? Hello? No, that's not how you do it, right? This is how we do it. Okay, I think it's, it must be missing something but here we go we have a little bit of storage up here and then big big wardrobe closet there yeah there's something this this feels beta <laughs> what do we have here oh more storage more storage hmm. and here we have mcd shades so we can look outside. Lots of drawers, of course. All this will become unusable when you pull that slide in, but I mean, that's not as, as egregious when you're talking about fifth wheels, because fifth wheels, you really um, wanna park somewhere and set it up and put out your, it's, it's not like for an overnight uh, at a Walmart, like I do so many of those. This is very nice, actually. Same sink as the Minitini, by the way. Yeah, this is a ceramic toilet and we have a huge shower here. I mean, look at that. I have a, a, almost a foot to spare and I'm 5'10". Let's see, let's see the rest. Here we have a dinette, but the, the, the chairs, you know, they're not fixed. You, you just tie them up for the trip, but they're not, they're not fixed in place. Nice recliner, nice sofa, TV, fireplace. Nice island here, so you can do all your prepping for all your food and stuff. Here's the galley area, nice convection microwave, although you also have a propane oven. And here you have a two-door domestic, um, two-way absorption refrigerator, which is quite spacious as you can see a lot of food there and this will work on on uh, propane or on um, ac no dc option and um, i don't know why they're not doing dc options as much anymore i think because it is not as uh, as efficient probably here we have some more pantry storage here's a a wireless charger for your mobile and, um, and let me see in the bedroom if by any chance they have 
USBs. Yes, they do. USB down there as, as well as as well as uh, AC power. All right, this is nice. This is the the Winnebago Voyage, the the larger one, the fifth wheel. The 3134RL. Okay, before we go, let's check out the hike. And uh, tomorrow, of course, I'm gonna give you a, a little more of, a, of an overview of all these RVs because right now they're putting like the pricing and all that stuff on the on the rigs. As, uh, as I told you, this industry day is kind of like a soft opening. But uh, this is the hike 215HS. And uh, this is this is this looks exactly like the one that we saw at the Minis on the Mountain Rally. If check out that video, I'll put a link. This one has the uh, the U-shaped dinette here in the front. We have the refrigerator. We have this stuff. Let me see if they fix this because this were okay. They fixed it. The one that they 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 took to they, they took to Alabama. It wouldn't stay up. <laughs> so that that was a, a very much beta product and this as you can see it's it's kind of weird you know, it's it's one of those things about the fit and finish but my, my only gripe with this particular RV is that when you this slide comes in nothing is accessible back there so um, that that could be a problem or a deal breaker for me and then you have the the bed here in the front, nice nice to have windows all around it, I like that. Uh, here we have some storage down here, standard microwave. The bathroom, it's a nice dry bath, you know, standard stuff. Pretty tall uh, shower, if I walk in here, 510 as I said, and I don't know why. I mean, I have a couple of inches to spare, if you are 6'2", you might have a problem. And... Um, and here's a huge, very deep, actually. I would dare to say too deep. I would like to, ha I, I would rather see something like a pull-out drawer or something because, I mean, I have fairly long arms and I cannot reach the back of this thing. So, um, it's a little bit of storage up here. To, probably for your electronics, that would be a good storage because you have a power and you have a USB on that corner. And these hikes, uh, they have the, that rack, and they have, you know, they, they, they're meant for the for the for an active person. Let's see the 17, the, the 171DB. Here we have also that front dinette, and uh, I think this table. This is a table that I, I don't I don't know exactly how it works, but it looks like it has wheels and it goes up and down. It's it should be easy. It should be easy. Here we have the, the TV in front of the dinette where it should be. And uh, uh, the, the, there we got, this, you know, this could be probably removed and used as a wardrobe closet. Here we have a nice uh, sink, the Dometic 2 burner. This, this is a rather small refrigerator, to be honest. And it is, uh, it is absorption. Here we have the front bed and the bathroom here, which I'm sorry, but this is the thing. When this light comes in, you have a nice dinette and that's all you have. So you would always have to pull this light out to do anything and that to me, it's a huge design flaw. But I understand some people may not care about that. You know, we all have different priorities. Let's check this one out. This is this 172 BH. And uh, let's check it out. It's a very similar design. Actually, this is very similar to the one we just saw back there with the front uh, day net. But this one has bunks in the back. Or is that the back or the front? bunk beds while the other one had a standard bed otherwise it's exactly the same with the well it doesn't have that super deep um 
storage here, which makes me to believe this one might be a little shorter. And I didn't exactly um, measure, but this one is uh, 172 BH, and the other one we were talking about was, uh, I forgot. Okay, we've got one more hike, and this is the 170S. And uh, here we go. And you know, I haven't told you about the storage, but they do have storage at the bottom, all of them. Let me, let me, let me look at this one. And it's not passed through, it's not like the, the, the huge storage that you see in other trailers, but it's not bad, you know why? Because on this side they have the water heater. Uh, here we go, this one. Actually, this, this is probably the better design of all of them. This one actually looks a lot like my Micro Mini, <laughs> believe it or not. This is the dinette on this side that turns into a bed. You have the front a bed there. We have a domestic, rather smallish refrigerator, but it's fine. And, uh, and we have the, the microwave, the galley here on the slide out. But the good thing about this one is when the slide is in, at least you can access the bathroom, which is a good thing. This door, Hmm, a little on the large side, but yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty good sized bathroom, very similar to my Macro Mini. And here we have some storage here by the front. And those are the Winnebago hikes, the new hikes. Now, moving right along. Riding, riding in 